Bonjour lads. Uh, today we are going to be playing as uh, the French in the hundred. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Right? Yeah, we're playing as the French. They've also had a bit of an update, as you can see here, a little bit of an intro about the Hundred Year War. So we do have a new mission tree of the French, which I'm very excited to dive into, as well as uh, these new little subject interactions, which I can only integrate if I have 50%. Crownland or more, which I do, I do enjoy a little bit of flavour there. I will say one thing, I would have liked to have seen more flavour for the French uh, Ducal guys. Obviously, Orléans has that whole like matriarchy thing you can do, um, which is a lot of fun. But I originally today wanted to play as Auvergne because I think it has a lot of uh, underappreciated history, but it doesn't have any sort of real mission tree apart from four missions. At that point, you form France and then you get their mission tree, so I felt it would be a bit reductive. So that'd be cool uh, in future. Either way, super excited to be diving into this. Unfortunately, Burgundy is rival to us. Uh, there is a whole thing with the gun inheritance where you uh, can just basically get Burgundy if uh, if you get the gun inheritance. But unfortunately, that's not going to be the case today. I don't really want to be restarting all that often. Um, nor am I going to, you know, cheekily do the gun inheritance like I did with England because I don't think it's as important for France. Uh, that England powerhouse game was sort of a one-off. We do get unlucky with our rivals though. Usually, you can ally Castile. So, considering my first moves here. All right. Well, let's get. I don't actually want to get this because it's going to give, you know, whatever. Let's do this first. It's going to lose us some crown land, but I'm okay with having a uh, poor crown land at the start of the game. The ability want me to take mine. Well, a little event that I think is going to help us with that. I don't think we can ally the Austrians. No, because even though we're not, we're historical rivals. We've really, this is the worst possible French start. Yeah, this is the worst. Okay, cool. Well, I'll ally the Aragonese for now. Not really a great alliance for us to have, but sure. Go ahead and revoke our guarantee up here and prepare for war against the English. Let me just check my mic uh, is actually working. It is. And uh, unfortunately, a little scare recently if you watched the uh, Japan game. Yeah, that wasn't my smartest. Right, what I do want to do is improve relations with Provence. So usually you break your alliance with Provence, but there is a thing here where if they are allied with us and have 150 um, opinion and also trust 90, and a royal marriage, there is a chance that you will get them as a personal union member. So we're going to go for that. And they still get their claims and stuff, and then the later on here, you can just integrate them immediately for nothing, which is great. <laughs> so definitely going to be doing that. Oh, let's make sure we get this right. So accept, accept. Actually, no, I'm not accept. That's going to tank my legitimacy for doing that. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. Where's the surrender of mine? Main, mon, whatever you want to, however you want to say it. I need it and begin currying favors, because we need some trust. So, uh, is it gonna fire or? There we go. Time to teach them how to walk. All right, off we pop. Now, here's what we're hoping for in the meantime. Uh, I want uh, Provence to take out the Breton. <laughs> stop doing that. But I need them to, to take them out. That'd be ideal for me. Wanna give me access? No. Burgundy ally, oh, Austria, that's cursed. And we really took Gascony, that's nice. So, ease the tension, but in this war, we obviously want to take back all of our things. Which we can do, but as you can see, I'm building up a navy. I want to see if I can take on the British. If they have six heavies, we'll have five. I want to see if I can maybe make the cross into England proper. Just to speed this up a little bit. Eesh. I don't want to be losing like that. Give more galleys. Okay, two years. <laughs> this might all be redundant, but I want to be doing something. I don't need to be paying for these forts, like they're not going to land, are they? If they are, it'd be better for me. He doesn't have any galleys, so if I have like eight galleys, that would do, that'd do me nicely. So I'm going to keep trading favours to trust. I'm also going to give um, the... I'm going to give Brittany to Provence. So I'm going to declare war, hope that they want stuff from Provence, from Brittany. They do. And I give them those three provinces. I'll take the other two for myself. We're going to keep building them up, is the plan. And then these two we're going to set to our own subject countries. Bit of an unusual thing to do, I know, but I, I just figured, it, like, I want to do something a bit different than, like, the standard France game. Um, that'll be fun. I could be wrong. Okay, here come the English. How come the blockade? Honestly, I back us. With the two... There you go, he's left. With the two more coming? Oh, great. If our good generals died. We got lucky that Burgundy hasn't allied the, uh, the Bretons. That usually happens, but unlucky that they allied the bloody Austrians. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> I may have to try and become the emperor defensively. <laughs> okay, looking good to me. There we go. And that's the British Navy gone. All right, sweet. So let's start paying our troops and we're gonna go land on the mainland. We'll be very careful about how we do this though, because we can only go eight at a time. So I'm thinking over here into pale first. 
Spot streets anywhere. 17k there, 18k there. Here's what we do instead. Also military access, gain stability, and fleet basing rights. Now we just ship our entire army up into Scotland. Right, we are outnumbered, but as you can see, he's gonna run away because we have to take four. Oh, what? The Arakanese landed troops as well. Let's go. All right, we don't need this anymore. Cheers for the help, though, lads. Appreciate it. He's a tearing through that fort. Nice. Marching here. Just about win that. And let's head out. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. It's pretty painful. We're taking London. That's 93%. Smash the English once more. Once more? And let's get it done. Get another mission? Oh, refine the bombards. We just get what? Sure. Get ourselves some artillery. Didn't have a look at actually look at these. Take the provinces. Yeah. Kind of need to do that. Actually take Calais. Going North America. Throne of Naples. The issue is even on Tech 3, the English are nasty to fight. I can't kill them or something. They're just not getting stacked like that. There we go. Just need them to unconditional, really. Christ, look how quick that's going. Yeah, having cannons is kind of useful when no one else has them. Who knew? All right, sweet. I kind of want to take Sussex. So we've got like a little port in uh, the channel. That'll do me. So money to pay off our loans, Sussex, and all that stuff. Wonderful. All right, we can fix ourselves up that. Good to see. We've just got the one going in succession. We can fight them for that. This is actually claims on Loire. Loire Valley. Do I want another one of these? No, I don't. I'll take this boss. So we're going to fight here, call in the Provencals, and give them land. Well, at least. We've got our siege stack over here. Well, our loan's paid off. Everyone's been a good little vassal, yes? All right, Naples is now free. I'm sure that's something I can do. Throw in a Naples. Can I just have it? Like, is there an event? And I'm having a war. Give me, a, give me a stability. Thank you very much. If you want these three promises, I'll happily give them to you. All right, I think I need to scrap Burgundy and the Austrians. This is going to be a big old war, but I think it's necessary. Um, because they might get, you know. Oh, no. I think I'm going to get him. I'll get him in like a year. Okay. Uh, I need to make sure I'm fighting Austria by then. The Austrians are still tech three. Okay. Yeah. The guilds. I'll take reform progress and money. Thank you very much. There we go. And performance is going to give us 21 favors. I actually kind of like in this compromise with the nobility side of things. I need a decent chunk of manpower. I don't like strengthening the nobility anymore. Because uh, there's a lot of influence they get from that. I do like curtailing it. Yeah, that's 15% no national tax. That's like, that's a lot. Okay, we did something else. Connecting the provinces, perfect. Every 25, and every province with at least 25 development, which is owned by us. Sure, I'm just going to click it because I like it. So Hungary's getting taken out by Bohemia. Just Bohemia? Yeah, wow. Yeah, they dropped into the personal union. Ah, okay, we've got to do it. We've got to do it. I gotta somehow get to Vienna. I'm gonna bust through to get there. There's all these little forts here. Bressigau might be a, a shout. Bressigau. If I get through Bressigau, I should be able to get to Vienna. I'm assuming he's got troops here. On his capital. He does not. So let's just stay near Bressigau then. If I can catch guys like this, that'd be great. I cannot risk those cannons getting stack wiped. There we go. I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm hope. God damn. Hope my vassals can take on his vassals in terms of uh, sieges, and then I can just focus on Austria. Well, I'm misclick that the cost is dearly. Ah, there we go. Peace the dynasties. Perfect. I'm going to take annexation costs of minus 15%. I think this is, this is just designed to, for us to get our appanages in. How many? 16,000 cavalry. I don't like cavalry. <laughs> right, we're up to 80 trusts now with the Provencals. That's a mountain. I don't really want to... You guys are blitzing it to Vienna. Bohemia's still, like, scrapping. I, I appreciate that. Wait. Is the ally to... That'll, that'll be why. Wait, why is Skanderbeg here? He's at war. Oh, no. He's fighting alongside the Hungarians. The Bohemians are still winning? How? Come on, boys. Defend against that. Yes, chaps. Let's siege Vienna. Here we are. Far away from what I want here. So, spread out. Get sieging. I don't want to leave my boys over there in the uh, in the west. Too undefended for too, too long. Oh, go on, Aragon. I think they might have just done it. They did. Okay, sweet. So, I can get the uh, Austrians out of this war. Ooh, but necessary. The Hurricanes have actually done me such a solid. I don't think I'm going to kill them this campaign. I don't feel like it. They've, they've been instrumental. They landed in London. You know what? We're backing them. Look, the Danes. Yeah, the Danes are invading Scotland. Rough day at the office for Denmark. Scotland, I mean. Denmark's having a great day at the office. I'll take restoration of the Union on uh, Milan. See if they actually leave the empire. They do. We're in, we're in, we're in good. And there's the Swiss done. I've actually done less than Provence. Provence have been pretty decent this uh, little run here. Hey, Renaissance appeared. Excellent. Siege of Provence done. Getting a bunch of admin mill powers is great. Okay, and now we can go ahead and curry favors with trust once more. I think this will do me for now. Can't take too much. It's very rich land. We take a bunch of territory. Can't take this because of Provence. Oh, actually, let's click suggest demands there. 
That would work. Yeah, nice. Now, when I click this button, uh, we either get them in a personal union or they break an alliance and declare war on us. Now, in my experience, this happens incredibly rarely, like so, so incredibly rarely, um, that we're going to do a little bit of shenanigans. So this is going to mess things up slightly, but I'm going to tag over to Provence and France should trigger the mission. There you go. We're going to do that and then we're going to tag back over to the French. Like I said, if this was an Iron Man campaign, I could just sit there reloading over and over again because it does happen eventually. Um, I've tested this. It's just super annoying uh, to have to sit there and, and reload over and over again when I can just do that. So we'll designate Calais as a stable port, but we have Provence as a junior partner. Which, yeah, quite nice. So now for the Loire Valley of like Chateau, I just need to improve this three times. One, two, three. And then that. Such elegance and beauty or Advin. Uh, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't take the money in Advin. Need that more. The more needs to be brewed four times to give it the Cathlonicon. But yeah, when we have three stability, we can instantly integrate Provence. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna feed him. <laughs> Ooh, that's annoying. Let's do this now. I'm trying to figure out what else the AI did to mess with me. Burgundy's not a valid rival for us. We'll rival England and then we'll rival Austria. Need to fight the Austrians soon. Again, really. Get our boy Provence to get a claim on him. That'd be ideal. Oh, the Teutons got attacked. No! They were doing so well. Oh, the Livonians are getting attacked by the Muscovites, the Teutons by the uh, Poles, and the Bohemians by the Hungarians and Austrians. This is so, so upsetting. Austria announces the new rival. And, well, unlucky Bohemia. Next time, buddy. They're still voting for the Austrians. Franconia form. Is Franconia... Is, did he form or is it like... Is, is Franconia always a thing? You know what, I'm gonna, I am going to roll Mario. You've done me like solidly. I respect you. No. I love you. <laughs> Henry the Sixth turned out to be malevolent, which is very useful given what we're about to do with the Spanish or Castilian, I suppose. Shadow Kingdom. I still want the Restoration Union on uh, Milan. I just think that we'll have a truce with everyone that matters. Hungary's in a personal union. And we ally the Ottomans, that's actually a good idea. And then we're pretty much protected. I don't see anyone. Maybe the Danes could come after me? These guys are dangerous to start the game, so be wary of that. I forgot to mention, the best part of this um, whole thing with Provence is that we can take all the stuff without incurring any aggressive expansion um, when I fed him as an ally, which is pretty cool. Aragon's just, he's, he's devastating, man. You gotta calm down, chaps. No, for God's sake, chill. The boy's just so ready to go all the time. Christ, Provence, no! Oh, God. Do I help them? I don't... The boy, stop killing yourself! Oh, my God, there's so many! All right, fine, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna try and protect them. All right, yeah, we've got a navy. Let's use it. There we go. Now they arrive all... Now they alliance with England and all the Castile. Give me money. I don't... Ten experience with Pyrrha, no, I didn't. How are you still allied with Castile? I broke... What? But you didn't come in. So how... How are you... What? I reckon we just do this. There's nothing like heinous about it. We just split them up a little bit. I don't want to take land because I want to save that for my aggressive expansion for later. I also don't want to do this because then it cuts me off. I just want to cripple them. Ah, huh. don't mind if I do. And that is how you get free land. Or not. Apparently the game lies to you now. Anyway, we've embraced the Renaissance. Let's select that mission. Get out of here. Embrace the Renaissance from Leonardo da Vinci. Let's go back to the Austrians. Alright, the Ottomans are friendly, which is nice. I just ran over something. Is Vienna done? Alright, now you're right with Austria. Give me cash. Or operations. Seems like an army I should fight. And I was right. right next national ideas. So we're gonna go quantity. We are French. Levy en masse and all that. Plus I'm planning on doing a decently aggressive campaign. Not like conquering every second and cycling coalitions. Well, mildly. That's why I evaded uh, Castile. But just I just want to have as much game impact as possible. That's my plan. I'm not gonna sit here and like try and... Uh, finagle things and, and, and force things through, but I am gonna ensure that uh, you look at the world and you're like, wow, fr France has been here. Not because the world is French, but because, you know, they went in and duffed everyone up. They might declare war in England, that's good timing for us. In like three years, we'll also be at war with England. What's our Burgundian thing up? Look, Hungary, I'm trying to make you free. Like, why are you fighting me on this? Ludwig of Hesse is the emperor. Nice. I'd say our job here is done. There we go. 95, and we're just gonna get rid of Hungary. And we'll also go ahead and ally the Ottomans. Now, put some new rivals. England, Muscovy, Steel works nicely. Ah, I lost my Cassis Belli. It's a shame. I don't know to make up for that. Ah, there we go. Just take these two territories. In fact, we vassalize them. Is that better? I think so. 
Some kind of rich land. Hmm. I don't know though. We're kind of pretty much over our limit already. And I could just give it to Provence. Yeah, we'll just give it to Provence. Okay. Uh, we're now all with Noah. Um, you wouldn't white peace, bro. <laughs> like, why? Uh, is there any harm in me taking land? Not really. Any claims, anyone? Provence has a claim. Yes, we're giving land to Provence more then. Oh god, I did vassalize them. Unfortunate. I mean, hey, well, welcome, man. So, <laughs> all right, cool. We're just gonna we're just gonna fight right over here for a little bit, I guess. Sure. Just I just wanted to just wanted to fight Savoy, and now I'm embroiled in a war with Italy. I mean, how does this happen? I will not rest until you're free, Aragon. Swear to God. Don't worry, buddy. I'll get you back. Don't be loyal. Don't be loyal. Just stay strong. Stay strong, buddy. You son of a bitch. You give me back my friend. There's a truce with England. There's the rivalry with England. Come on, it. So it hasn't become apparent right now. I'm not planning, like, this is this is not meant to be optimum France campaign. I just, I'm just trying to mess around. Uh, France one of those nations that I think, I don't know, I, I, I only have fun with France if, uh, if I've got, like, an aim in mind, if that makes sense, or if I'm just trying to be goofy. Uh, because... Yeah, otherwise, otherwise it's just sort of massively overpowered. Like it's it's ridiculously powerful as a nation. It's a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong, but not every time. Oh, did not mean to fight that. I right, got ourselves national tax modifier and war taxes cost. Uh, what do we want to do here? Representative of the crown is probably the best idea. Press relations and vassal force limit contribution. Okay, Burgundy have declared war in five years. So in five years' time, I need to have finished the war against England, and immediately declare war on the. But Gundy, that's gonna be kind of tricky. Should be okay. Siege of Milan. Strasbourg is uh, forced to leave. I haven't quite figured out why the French get um, cannons. Like, the Ottomans make sense. Because, you know, the guns of urban, they literally use cannons. But I don't quite understand the other ones. Okay, Avignon gets given to Provence. The reason I'm comfortable enough in doing that is because the English are at war right now. So they can't. Oh, that sucks. Look at that. The Danes are doing bits. Right, let's start prepping for this English war. Ooh, we're doing a mission. What's that? Uh, secure the Alpine Pass. Apparently they did that. Gross expansion impact minus 10%. Yeah, okay. Leave Cambrai, secure Northern Italy, and Signora of Genoa. Ah, cool. So we're just defying the Pope. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. So we need the Pope to have scornfully insulted or insulted. And we get siege ability. A bunch of claims. And subjugation on Naples. So what? Do we get that both? No, only if I... Ah, only if I insult them. Alright. I don't really want to do that just yet. 15 years, so I've got to do... Okay, here's what I've got to do. This is the plan. I need to fight England, take as much territory as possible, immediately fight Burgundy, and then immediately before that war ends, trigger this mission and attack Naples for the subjugation, which will cause everyone to join a coalition against me, but at that point I'll be strong enough to be able to fight them. I think. <laughs> I could be wrong. Go behind schedule, I've got three years. Three, four, five, isn't there? There's a, there's a court consort for that, please. Christ. All right, we do not have time to faff about here. Siege London, 112 days. Yes, please. Over that way. The only forts over there. He does have Desmond. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to track this from the Danes. We'll go around. Oh, Desmond's like a thing. I thought that was Denmark. It's irritating. There's a bunch of occupations. Well, well I mean, that, that helps a little bit with the whole Naples thing. What? <laughs> All right, Naples comes to junior partner. Sure. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, okay. Sure, let's trigger this now then. Napoli, owned by me or, you know, Naples, has five buildings and development is 35. Milan, yeah, if I'd, I should have, I should have really been a lot quicker with the Milanese drone thing. Okay, Gilra, try and get that going. Scouting tournament, perfect. What we do here? Uh, I can do this. One, two, three, four. Get. Catalonicon. Sweet. 50% cheaper. And with that, we get the Crown of France. 10 power projection. 25 prestige. Now we just need the Burgundian Empire, and then we can face the Empire. This event will allow us the opportunity to make a bid for the Empress of the HR. You'll aim at eradicating it. I think eradicating it. Like, uh, okay. I'm on level with you. It's You should always become the Emperor of the HRE. It's not hard, and you can always manage it. Naples, do that. An equal member of the French Dominion. They exist to serve the Crown. Huh. The exploitation of Neapolitan lands may result in a shift of population as people of Neapolitan domain are transferred to mainland France to form feudal labor. The weakness of their former overlords must be exploited. No, I will save them. In fact, when is when's this truce? 77, we're going after our boys again. I'm bringing them back. I swear to God, we're doing it. 
Yeah, why would you ally the English, man? Don't do that. Don't don't ever ally England. How dare you? Never do it again. Now, we're gonna start a golden era. We're also gonna get this. Because I have an idea. <laughs> like in Postal Unions, I know where I can grab a couple more. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. Okay, right. We're gonna take all this. Okay, so Desmond. No. We need everyone to come home because I can't declare peace until we're ready to declare war on the Gundians. Ooh, own crown prince. Sweet. Don't know what that does. We've got a new heir. I, assume, I just assumed it was him, but it, I think it is. What happens when he falls a... Oh, and someone else takes it. Cool. I'll take it. Nice. Just a good outcome for us. There's Truce of Burgundy, which means we're clear to do this. Massive coalition, that's fine. Right, Clear Wars to take Rouge. And let's bring the boys home. There's the coalition. Which is fine. We just need to make sure we're constantly fighting this lot. I said I wasn't going to cycle coalition. Okay, 81 is a key date. 81 and 77. 77 and 81. It's okay, they left the three leagues behind. I'm sure. London calling. Nice. The channel will be renamed La Manche. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I feel ill. <laughs> yeah, it's a big old coalition, but... It's not as big as you might think. Like, look, it's even numbers right now. I'm pretty sure I can probably ally the Poles. <laughs> Although I think after this war, they may themselves be a little bit angsty about me. I'm gonna run. Okay, I've got them trapped down there with a decent chunk. Let's just head back up court now. Rathelois. Rathelois? Rathelois? I don't know how to, I can't speak French. <laughs> well, I can understand most of it. If people speak slowly, but then you get some pricks in Paris who think it's their mission in life to speak as fast as humanly possible. Alzebo. <laughs> there are some people that don't know that Alzo HD lives in uh, in France, um, and that is just completely lost on them. <laughs> I think that's funny. I'll ruin these Burgundian noble rebels. 77 it was, right? Mm. How do we move them quicker? Okay, we go ahead and grab our plus 15% morale of armies. Then we can peace out this war. Now, there's a couple of different variations of this I want to try. So I've got to save. We'll see what they are. So the first one is just purely vassalizing Burgundy. Pretty sure that releases all this lot. Just want to confirm that. Yeah, it does. Okay. Which I don't want to do. Huh. Can't say I expected that. The other stuff was I was going to take these guys for myself. That's an idea, bro. Ah, I was considering taking him as a vassal, then giving him all this land, and then inheriting him. But no, it doesn't work like that. It's a shame. I'd have focused on taking more of this land if I knew that was going to happen. Oh, well. I still think that that's probably our best bet. Take Bruges as well. Take Bruges. Uh, give... Hold well, up. Give... Grant Province Bruges. Imagine if I could give him, like, one of these. Like, Kent. That would have been amazing. But technically, if I, okay, if I give him Calais, I'll get it straight back. Then I should be able to give him Kent and London. Let's try that. Okay, so let's cancel Kent. Grant Province. Kent. Do the same thing with London. There's some weird shenanigans that I know people are going to come up with. There's Bedfordshire. I think I can give him the rest of this stuff as well. Grant him Hampshire. Then grant him Dorset. So I've saved all my admin. And then I can go ahead and just do this. Yeah, that works. Obviously, I want to wait for him to core it. But that, that works. Okay, so just don't touch that for a little bit. And we're good. I'm still staying strong. Yeah, you are. All right, let's get ready for this. Truce with Castile. Straight in, chaps. Oh, God, he doesn't have any forts. <laughs> oh, no. How many troops do we even have on our side? Okay, like 100,000. <laughs> I haven't really been building more troops. Or using my money effectively in any way. Burgundy leading the charge. Wonderful. Here's Boa. Dust you out of here. Ally ain't going to I don't care, dude. Just, just get out of this war. Now, Aragon. I am going to have to push into your land. But it's for your own good. Alright, another set of ideas. Obviously, we're going to go diplomatic, given the sheer... Oh, influence, sorry. Given the sheer quantity of lands we have. Yes! Oh, they're doing it themselves. They're doing it themselves. Oh, wonderful, Agron. Look, even though you don't love me, I, I'll always love you, buddy. That's okay. Let me just help you get out of this war. Okay, let me let me help you here. Because I think you'll get your ass kicked. So let's just, uh, let's just make sure that doesn't happen. No. Stay away from my boy. I don't care if I attack him in the mountains. There you go. Where are you going, huh? Where are you going? Don't tell me. Tell me where are you going. Where are you going? bugging has got your number. All right, we did our job. Um... Yeah, we'll just take a bunch of territory. So all the coalition can get like larger, you know what I mean? Things <laughs> is already Europe. I'm not rivaling the Ottomans. <laughs> That's not happening. Alright, sweet, you've called those lands. Perfect. Bye. 
It's less of a like I could kiss that horse and more of just a hit, man. You know? French food is. I need to get rid of that because it locks me at. In the bank. How do I remove that? Okay. Or the emperor has the opinion of us insulted. Okay. Insult. Oh, sweet. Face the empire. Make a bid for the title of the empire. Yeah. No. Or war in the east. Ah, let's do that. So that gives us uh, a special Cassus Belli that we can use. Dismantle the empire. Iron crown. Break the emperor's ring. We get access to the military, military hegemony. Sweet. Of course you have military access, my friend. There's that Austrian alliance. Ah. He's allied the Muscovites, which is a bit of an irritant. Dude, war in the empire, though. 90%. Nice, sweet. Uh, I'm going to let him join the uh, coalition. I don't care. I should, I should really not let him, but I'm kind of tired. <laughs> so I'm getting lazy. All right. Purple. Oh, you two Aragon and the coalition against me. I gave you life. Damn, Castile's not looking hot. I'm gonna lie, I just wanted to force myself to play tall a little bit. I'm <laughs> gonna get national rest of minus one. Castile no longer a great power. Yeah, you can say that again. We far outstripped everyone, man. It's kind of ridiculous. What did I do? I, I did something. Crown City of Paris. So for 20 years, we get diplomatic annexation cost. Hmm, it's useful. And I can tap it with. It is, it is useful, but I can't, you know, annex anyone just yet. Wait a few years for that. All right, there's that piece done, which means that we can go ahead, do this, which means we can start integrating our vassals. Get the crown seat of Paris. I've already taken that. Let's find some temple rights. And looks Muscovy. And then let's begin annexation. It means I'm going to grab myself this. We are draining our diplo power, but I think it's definitely worth it for this. we will accept their place. I think nobility is going to be a little bit upset. Another one. There's some Castilian separatists to deal with. There's another. How many is actually doing something here? You're going to do it in time? It's actually quite funny. <laughs> They've annexed <laughs> the province just before they both get annexed. Nice. All the gender. Sweet. I'm down. No subject country. As this capital of the France region. So we just need to get rid of French strong duchies, which I can do once I get rid of all these lots. So the ability to get straight set about this. They're taking a riot. <laughs> I'm going to do this ability as well, which means I'll be able to inherit or integrate uh, Provence immediately. All right, and now you lot are integrated. Let's go ahead. Oh, La Marche didn't get as an automatic core because he conquered it, you bastard. All right, a uh, house united, take. All right, so we annex the final one. Okay, so La Marche, I have to actually manually core and it has separatism because um, Orléans conquered it. Brilliant, good job, lads. Uh, Provence, I need to make sure I have full trust with you. I do. So if I have 190 opinion, 100 trust, we'll integrate them, which we do. Look at that. Right, so French strong duchies is no longer relevant. Just need to develop a bit to get up to 50 uh, crown land. All right, we've dumped all of our points into developing a little bit. So now we can get movement of centralization, get rid of our feudalism side of things, and now we can become the empire. And finally, actually be able to, to administer our, our lands a little bit better. So we no longer have crippling amounts of uh, <laughs> of allies and such. Uh, Muscovy's looking massive. We're allied to the Ottomans and the Poles. Uh, uh, obviously, everyone is in a coalition against us. <laughs> but we're actually in a really good spot. I don't think there's any shot on Earth that they declare war um, at all. I think I'd probably go after England next. Uh, but I think this is where we're going to leave it today. I uh, just want to try out France in a bit of a wacky way. Obviously, this wasn't like a, a proper playthrough that I'd consistently do. Uh, do I think we could take on this uh, entire coalition? No. I mean, actually, having said that, coalitions aren't as bad as you might think, especially if they declare war on you, because if you win all of your battles, then you get a ticking war score and you also win... Um, 40% war score from battles, so it's a 65% war score. You only need about 50% when they're on high to uh, piece them out. So it's not as bad as you might think, uh, especially with a nation such as this, which is incredibly well uh, set up. But either way, chaps, hopefully you enjoyed. Like I said, I'd love to see more on uh, French duchies and that side of things, because France is um, it's just a behemoth, man. Bear in mind, we also have Naples and Savoy in this. Uh, I just wanted to see in sort of 50 years or so how big uh, I could expand whilst being sort of continuous and using specifically the missions. Like this wasn't me, oh, I'm gonna go around and do big blue blob or do something crazy. This was just the mission tree that I've, uh, I've used. So hopefully that gives you some indication of what's possible with France. Uh, if you did enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Otherwise, I will see you all next time.
goodbye. Huge shout out to my patrons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDow52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click on it.